Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Jay Friesen YouTube channel where we discuss everything real estate. I'm Jay Friesen uh, from the Jennifer Gale team and Remax AB Realty. Happy with you again today to discuss uh, week three and a half or week four of the Woodstock market update, January 17th to the 23rd. And we'll discuss all the different solds, some details of the solds, some details of the new listings and uh, some interesting facts, okay? Uh, this week's sponsor is Arise True. Uh, friends of mine, Patrick and Aaron, they run Arise True Yoga. Uh, you can, they have a website, it's arisetrue.com. Instagram is at Arise True. Facebook is Arise True Yoga. And they do yoga for all levels, and they're instructors, uh, fantastic instructors. Uh, do a lot of different things, a lot of different uh, yoga practices private classes, as well as uh, class settings, also fascial stretch therapy, which is fantastic for anybody who's getting old like me and needs a little bit of stretching every once in a while. So uh, please reach out to them, Arise True Yoga. Uh, fantastic people and you won't regret it. All right, we're gonna discuss the new listing details for January 17th to the 23rd for Woodstock. There was 20 new listings last week. And of those 20 listings, 18 were holding offers. So only two not holding offers of the 20. That's uh, quite a big percentage, quite a high number. It's 90% are holding offers. Of those 18, 15 of those are not looking at preemptives. So there's 15 that are holding offers to a certain date that will not look at a preemptive offer or a bully offer as they say. That's also a big percentage this week. Uh, and of those 15 holding offers to a certain date, seven of those are holding offers until today, which is January 25th. So for a marketing strategy and an offer date, obviously um, you would hope your home would be the only one on the market that day. Uh, with seven, there's a little more competition. People have a choice of a few houses to bid on that day. And as a buyer, you need to pick one of the two or one of the three that you want to bid on. So if you want to talk about marketing strategy for a listing or for buying, give me a call. We have specific strategies that we discuss for listing and for buying in that certain type of situation. Okay. Now we're going to look at the solds for the last week. Uh, so there was 12 solds. 11 of those were firm and one is conditional. So the conditional could potentially go back to active uh, depending, depending on what happens there. But of the 11, uh, that are firm, 10 went at or over asking, and one was under ask. All right, it was on the market for quite a while. So the average sale price for those homes was $725,800. And the average percentage of asking price uh, that was, was sold for was 100 and, almost 115%. So 114.9% of ask price is the average for those uh, 10, uh, 11 firm homes. Okay. The biggest gainer or the largest percentage was uh, 350 Spencer Street. It ended up getting 148% of ask price. And I've told you before that ask price and sale price to me uh, above ask is not a very great indicator because it all depends on the initial ask price. Is it really relative to the market or is it just uh, a strategy to get multiple offers? And of those 11 that went firm, the average days in the market was 8.6. So there was some that were, one was one day, uh, one was 16 days. So there is a, a range there, um, but the average was 8.6 days. So that's the current market update. Uh, as of this morning, there was 23 homes on the market in Woodstock. So there is uh, inventory is rising a little bit, but most of those, um, so for instance, 18 of the one homes that were holding offers, those offers will be this week. So they should technically probably be off the books by the end of next week. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there and how many homes are on the market, how many new homes come on the market this week. So please stay tuned for the next market update. If you want any stats, I dig into a lot of different stats, uh, more than just this. But if you want to talk stats, please give me a call. Again, it's Chief Reason from the Jennifer Gale team and Remax AB Realty. Happy to bring you the Woodstock Market Update and reach out to Arise True Yoga as well, our weekly sponsor. Okay, thank you. I look forward to our next update. Take care.